everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Janelle and I do mostly all things budgeting or pretty much everything budgeting if you are new to my channel welcome and if you are not new welcome back thanks you all for subscribing if you've already subscribed I've been getting some new subscribers lately today we're going to be doing my budget results for paycheck number one which was what I got for December 6th so um let's get on into it so first of all um I did not write down my income so let me go see what I did in my um my transaction log which is weird you guys um transaction log so what I'm gonna say is that I carried over a dollar thirty two and then my income was nine dollars I mean nine hundred and sixty one dollars and eighty four cents which gave me nine hundred and sixty three dollars and sixteen cents so um, sorry about that you guys normally I have what I already made I didn't include the other money because that was before I got paid so at the time that I had paid this is just what I actually rolled over um, into that paycheck um, so down to my expenses for Great Lakes I budgeted 44.39 and that is exactly what I paid for my Netflix, I budgeted $14.06, and it was $14.06. For Suddenlink, I budgeted $97.93, but that bill was going to actually be for the following month. So um, I, I actually owed $87.86. And what I mean by that is um, the bill is due on the 11th, but what I do is I pay for it the month before, and I put it on my credit card and then the next month I pay for it off before the account closes if that makes sense to y'all um, I don't know why I feel like when I explain stuff it sounds crazy but um, so I pay for it and then um, I pay it back off later so this was for November's bill and then December's bill has already been paid and December's bill is the one that's billed for $97.93 because it was late um, or they said that it was late, whatever their case is. Um, so next month in January, you'll be seeing me pay $97.93 to pay off that bill that I just paid. Um, so um, my Capital One, I went ahead and paid that, which was for ninety eight eighty nine, and that was covering November's bill. So going forward, at the end of de uh, end of December, we'll be going back to my regular scheduled payments. I kept my buffer of twenty dollars in my bank account, and then I also paid my debt, which was just twenty nine dollars towards my minimum payment for Wells Fargo. And that had me at a total at $694.20. And then um, down here, whenever I do my cash envelopes, I already show you guys what my actuals were. So I did take out $245. And my total came out to be, um, let's do the math on my iPad here. Um, so we're at six ninety four twenty plus two forty five puts me at um, my total was nine thirty nine twenty and then minus this minus ninety six three point sixteen equals um, 23.96 is at least what I should have. It doesn't take into account that um, I may get stuff during the week um, or anything like that. And matter of fact, I actually did get some money that I should have added in here, but it's only in my transaction log. Um, but next time I'll remember to add that um, money in there. 
but um, I actually have like $44 and some change in my bank account um, currently because of that cash that I got. But this was just my budget results for um, paycheck number one. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I would love for you to join my family and I'll see you guys next time.